Hunter Biden's highly paid position on the board of the Ukrainian gas company Burisma has been reported on for years. A press release announcing his position as director sent out for the world to see. But what the job entailed at a time his father was serving as vice president is now coming more clearly into view. The New York Times reporting he sought help from the State Department, writing to the U.S. ambassador in Italy seeking assistance for Burisma when the company was having difficulty securing regulatory approval for a geothermal project in Tuscany. The concern has always been about Hunter Biden and his family, and of course his father as vice president and president of the United States, is that they were running a sort of influence peddling scheme. The U.S. State Department does not appear to have gotten involved. The documents detailing the action just released shortly after President Joe Biden decided not to run for re-election, timing the State Department calls coincidental. But the revelations come after a court filing last week detailing payments from a Romanian businessman, Gabriel Popovicu, to Hunter Biden and a business associate who wanted the U.S. government to intervene in a corruption investigation of him in his home country. The money wired through what House investigators call shell companies. The concerning thing for the banks was not only the fact that they didn't uh, know why in the world there would be a, a wire going into this fake LLC that was seldom used, but, but the fact that it's the sitting vice president of the United States son getting this wire, uh, which would lead to a national security threat, which would suggest a potential bribe. Now, all of these allegations are tied to Hunter Biden's federal tax case set to take place in California just about three weeks from now. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzow.